In this video, I'm going to be talking about the best knot for going from mono to your hook, and I'm going to be showing you how to tie it as well. So in my opinion, I think the best knot to use is going to be the uni knot. And the reason I like it so much is it's really simple to tie. It's nice and compact as well. It's not, it's not overly big like a lot of other ones out there. And it's also one of the more stronger knots. Like I've never had any issues with this coming undone. The only time is if the line itself is actually broke, but the knot here has pretty much never come undone for me. And it is something that I do use a lot. All right, so before we do get started, I just want to mention a gear giveaway I'm planning on doing. So it's probably going to be at like 1,000 subscribers and then I'll probably continue doing it every like 5,000 after that. So here are some things I'm thinking about. So we have for here, it's a bait casting reel. We also have like a backpack, but you know, a like fishing backpack. I just toss everything in there whenever I'm going out. It's really, really useful. And also like a GoPro or something. So that's kind of what I'm thinking about right now. If you do have any suggestions for anything else, just leave a comment down below and um, I'll figure something out. But if you do want to enter, I need you to do three things. Okay, so first, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment giveaway down below. Just do those three things and it'll be automatically entered. All right, so if you do want to enter, then good luck and we will jump back to the video. All right, so you're gonna need to lay out your monofilament and then your hook. I'm gonna be using some rope here and this thing, just because it'll give you a better visual since it is bigger. But all you wanna do is you wanna take the tag end of your monofilament and you wanna take your hook and we're simply going to put the line through the eye of the hook and we're gonna double it back just like that. Give yourself a decent amount of tag end to work with, especially if it is your first time. It just makes tying the knot a lot easier. We're gonna take our tag end and we're going to basically come back just like that. So we're gonna come back and we're gonna loop it over just like that. So we have our main line and then we have the loop and then our tag end is going to be here. All we have to do is we have to take our tag end right here, okay? And we have to wrap it six times around both of this, this, this line and this line here. So we're gonna go through the loop. We have to wrap it six times going up in this direction. So all we're gonna do is we are going to go one, All right, so you should have something that looks just like that. And you'll want to hold your tag in right here because you don't want it to go back through the loop. But all you gotta do now is you have to grab the main part of your line and you can slowly start pulling it. And then everything's gonna tighten down just like that. Before I do tighten it, I like putting a bit of moisture so either some water or spit on the knot. It'll secure it a bit better. But once, once everything is tightened down a little bit and your tag end, isn't going to go back through the loop. All you have to do now is grab your hook, grab the main part of your line, and really cinch it down tight. Make sure that these loops here are, they're kind of nice and all nice and connected, like they're not, you know, spread out like that. If they are, you just gotta kind of pull it down um, and then tighten this up, you know, tighten, tighten the tag in a little bit if you can. And then once everything looks good, they're all kind of nice and compact. Your tag end is there. Your loops are all good. You just have to really cinch it down tight, clip off your tag end, and there's the simple uni knot, which is my go-to anytime I want to attach monofilament to a hook or lure. So if you do want to learn about any other useful knots um, and how to tie them, I will leave a link for that down below. It's going to kind of walk you through all of the all the more common knots and like what they're used for, how to tie them, all kind of stuff. So that link's down below. And if you do want another entry into our giveaway, you can like and comment on our latest video, which is going to be the left of this video. All right, so hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one.